Hey, what's going on, good people? I hope everybody out there is doing fantastic. I'm CeeLos, and I want to welcome you guys to my channel, Pay Yourself Back, where here on this channel, it's always about having a good time, enjoying life while being mentally aware, and of course, spiritually well. It is another beautiful day here in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Yes, it is. And I know a lot of you guys are probably saying, CeeLos, where you been, man? Hadn't seen you in a while. What's going on? Well, guys, listen, I just took a little break from YouTube. I'm still here, still around, still in the land of the living, and I'm doing well, guys. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is that living in Port St. Lucie is cool. I just cannot get enough of living here, guys. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, guys. Listen, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click the bell, drop down, the notifications and hit all so you'll be notified every time I post content guys and again I know it's been a while but I'm getting back into the rhythm getting back into doing my videos guys and so I just want to drop a little bit uh, on you guys because it's been on my mind to talk about a little, little bit about Port St. Lucie Florida guys and living here a little backstory for me if you're still if, again if you're new to the channel been in Fort Florida for five years we come from Washington State been down here, we lived in Broward County in Dania Beach. Dania Beach is located probably a couple miles from south of Fort Lauderdale. We were living out there for a while, and so we decided to pull the trigger and buy a brand new construction home here in Port St. Lucie, Florida, guys. Didn't plan it to be brand new, but it just ended up that way, and we ended up getting a better deal. These, most houses here in Port St. Lucie, the difference between here and somewhere further south, like Broward County and Dade County, is that these houses, they pretty much sit on a big lot. You see my backyard. You see how big, you see the backyard. Quarter acre lot. Most of these houses, you got, you got front yard and you got a backyard. Down south, you're not gonna get that. And when I say down south, I keep re referencing it. It's about a hundred miles where we used to live in Daniel Beach to Port St. Lucie. So unfortunately, we still work down there. So we commute back and forth, at least Monday through Thursday. And that's no big deal. There are people here that drive further than we do. They drive all the way to Miami and places like that. So I don't feel so, so bad. I met a gentleman here the other day, he was driving by and just having to stop. And he works in Broward County, which is probably about, about 90 something miles. And he said, uh, I asked him, well, how long you been doing that? He said, for 17 years. So I was like, wow, I don't feel as bad. And he was happy to hear of somebody who lives here and still works down there. You got to do what you got to do, guys. A lot of people say, well, you know, I wouldn't do it. That's you. You would do it. Because when we first got to Florida, that was one of our goals to buy a house. And the shoe boxes that were down there in Broward and Dade County is like, but what we got here with this house, the front yard, I mean, you got a yard, front and back, and it's huge. You need to really, I mean, I mow it by hand with my lawnmower, but really, you need to, if, you, if you're not physically fit, kind of, so to speak, and I'm not saying that I'm, you know, but you would need to ride him more. You have to hire somebody to do it. And we, we started um, off hiring a guy to do it, and he didn't pan out. So I just said, I bought me a self propel more at Lowe's and I just do it myself. I get up early and I just come out and do it myself. Save the trouble, you know. But anyway, guys, let me give a couple shout outs. There's hardly anywhere that I can go in this city of Port St. Lucie where I'm not running into somebody that's um, a fan of the channel or a subscriber of the channel. And so let me give out a shot to my man, Jermaine from, he moved here from Georgia. And he say, man, he stopped in his tracks when he saw me. And I just looked at him like, okay, what are you looking at? And then I was like, oh, I figured it out. So he's like, man, I've been waiting to meet you. You know, your inspiration because I moved here because of your videos. I watched your videos and, you know, that encouraged him in a lot of ways to move to Port St. Lucie. So shout out to Jermaine. I met another gentleman in the mall. I want to say, brother, excuse me if I messed up your name Byron I want to say he moved from Arizona in the same way he's like man I watch your channel been watching you for a while and based on your videos I decided to move here and he's doing well got two beautiful little girls shout out to Byron and 
there's a lot of cool things about Port St. Lucie, guys. Let me tell you. One of the things, though, I will say this. If you're used to fast pace and that fast life, always hustle and bustle, you're not going to find that here. Over 80% of residents who live in Port St. Lucie own their own home. That's to tell you something right there. There's not a whole lot of apartments. It's one of the safest cities, at least the top three safest cities to live in in the state of Florida, Port St. Lucie, in terms of crime. Not a lot of crime here. It's, there's crime, but it's just not, it's very, very, very um, minute. I mean, people are more friendly, and be, because of the fact that we drive back and forth down there, there's a big difference in the hustle and bustle. It's a lot slower here, which is something that I love. I'm, you know, getting up a little bit older now, so I can appreciate, I can, I can appreciate people who think like me, you know, so to speak. I'm not saying that to be rude or anything like that, but you know, once you reach a certain age in life, and I call it the age of maturity, then you know, you don't have time to put up with a lot of crazy stuff. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't have time. My, my, my tolerance level for just ignorance is very very low and for dealing with people who think on that level the tolerance is very low my circle is very small so again guys i love living here in port st lucie and you can tell the difference i would say i keep talking about um south florida and what i mean is the southeastern side of florida fort lauderdale west palm Dade County, Miami, places like that. I would say once you reach north of West Palm, that's when you notice the difference in the drivers, the difference in the behaviors of people. Um, you don't get a lot of craziness. You know, you can tell that you're out of, and I can I can speak like that, and that's just no disrespect, but it is what it is. Um, you move into Florida, it, and you're coming from somewhere like the West Coast, it's going to be a culture it's going to be a shock to you because people here in certain areas of florida south florida they're just way different and i guess that's just their way but it's a big difference i've talked to people i've met a lot of people that come from other states that are west of florida and they say yeah it's a big difference and i yeah it's an adjustment it's just, the lifestyle is not really so much of an adjustment the adjustment is having to deal especially if you go to places that are a little bit further down south just having to deal with people and their attitudes and their personalities and their behaviors and you know a lot of things it's just a lot to deal with guys i don't want to bore you with that probably the last time you saw videos of the house things are a little bit different now guys i got some i got i had the guys i hired a company to build me a fence and the fence is basically gonna come halfway of the house and it's gonna go back um, so I had uh, the guys drop the wood off uh, a couple days ago and so they're gonna go ahead and start installing that either tomorrow or Wednesday or something like that I pulled the trigger on it I had to guys I've been going back and forth with it for a long time I should have had it done but I'm glad that I didn't because the time that I'm it, it was during COVID and they were the prices were up there so this time i got an estimate and i was shocked so i said yeah i'll take it also probably the last time you saw the backyard didn't have a shed so i went ahead had a shed put in i had the guys come out this is just a um a sam's club it's a sam's shed um fiberglass or plastic whatever you want to call it had the guys come in and put that in i'm gonna do a video on the hot tub i've been promising you guys that I'm gonna get to that, drop that video here sooner or later. I finally got everything taken care of. And so I'm gonna go ahead and drop that that video uh, later on. Also, I know I'm probably behind on a couple of videos. I know you guys had asked me to do, I think somebody asked me to do a video on like um, shopping centers and stuff like that. But, and I'll get to that. I've been just taking it easy guys. Just, you know, just chilling, taking some time off, taking some time to myself. Um, we went to Tennessee. I, posted that video we went to Pigeon Forge we spent uh, about three days three four days over there so um, came back from that and just you know kind of getting back into the swing of things but yeah it's been good I love living here in Port St. Lucie guys 
it's quiet it's family oriented people are people are nice they speak it's not hustle and bustle so if you're the type of person you want to move here and you're kind of younger and you're looking for things to do a lot of things to do that young people do like party 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 it's, I'm gonna do a video also is Port St. Lucie right for you because it ain't right for everybody and, and I don't mean that in a bad way I'm just saying it ain't it's not right for everybody and I talk about this all the time I say if you're a retirement age or near retirement and you want to be somewhere where it's quiet safe good you know schools and good people things of that nature then Port St. Lucie is right everybody's not going to agree with me on that but you know so what we can all this we can agree to disagree and I've been a lot of places I'm a military veteran and I've lived in a lot of different places and I can tell you even in even in Florida you know when I first got here I lived in Miramar I lived in um, Davie and then I moved to Dania Beach so I know that whole that whole Broward County area is, is just fast, fast, fast. Miami and Dade County is just even worse. It's just fast, super fast pace. And people like be in a hurry to go nowhere. I don't understand it. I don't get it. And I know this because we go down there every back and forth every day and I drive and I do just the headache, just the headache of the the people behind these wheels. I don't know what they be thinking down there. Up here, it's not as bad. In this area, St. Lucie County, it's not as bad. It's, at least the year and a half that I have been living here and as people just think differently and it's like I say it's a lot of m older or m more mature people in my honest opinion that live here and that's what I one of the many things that I like about it and so just wanted to drop a little bit for you guys like I say I know I hadn't put out a video in a minute so gonna start back getting back into my videos and getting back into the swing of things I appreciate you guys supporting me all the people that I meet the nice people who follow the channel support the channel thank you guys and please continue to support me and please continue to support the channel if you have any questions any concerns any comments anything you want to know about st. Lucie County or Port st. Lucie drop me a comment and I like I say I know I'm behind a couple of videos on that you guys have requested and I get to those so yeah yeah unfortunately gotta hit it gotta go to work tomorrow so um, it is what it is enjoy this nice little few days four or five days off for you know the holiday Memorial Day and everything so got to get back into the swing get into the groove of it but once again thank you guys uh, I hope everybody is doing well I hope you have a good week and listen until next time be well my friend Celos out baby Thank you.